Hi there, my name's Krunk, and if you're sick of being broke all the time in Vegas Infinite, you just clicked on the right video. If you watch this entire video from front to back without skipping, I guarantee you'll never be broke in Vegas Infinite ever again. You might just become a Vegas Infinite millionaire overnight. Before we get started, if you like the idea of free chips, free creds, and a bunch of free stuff in Vegas Infinite, you gotta check out the official stream. It's at twitch.tv forward slash getluckyvr. They're constantly doing giveaways for chips, creds, in-game props, and a whole lot more. So if you haven't already, make sure you hop on Twitch, go to their channel, and follow so you can keep up to date on all of the latest streams. Without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. Tip number one. Isolate your bad habits. So what does that mean? Well, there's a lot of things that you may be doing in Vegas Infinite that are gonna be detrimental to your bankroll. Some of the obvious ones are betting all your chips, in one spin on roulette, uh, maybe playing above your stakes, you know, putting your entire bankroll on the table all at once. Stuff like that is what you're gonna wanna start isolating and avoid doing. If you haven't seen my video about the best way to build your bankroll, aka the Salty Alt video. Uh, go ahead and check that out. I'm going to put the link for that in the description, or you can just click on my channel and check it out. Basically, the general idea of that is to have two separate accounts. Now, there's some things you can do, some things you can't do with two separate accounts. Like I said, watch that video if you want to get into the specifics. But the most important takeaway from that is to have one account where you're just trying to build your bankroll and your other account where you're kind of messing around and probably playing a little more loose. This way, if you really have trouble getting rid of those bad habits, you have your one account that you can just get it all out on while banking up your chips on the other account. One thing you have to realize is at the end of the day, you are the only person standing between you and yourself and your bad habits. So you have to hold yourself accountable. You have to be responsible and if you find that difficult, guys, don't be afraid to use the self-exclusion feature. Now, I want to make sure that you guys know if you are going to use the self-exclusion features, they are irreversible. Uh, even if you contact an administrator of the game, they cannot reverse it. So be very careful when you're doing that. For instance, if you just find yourself losing a lot of chips on roulette and you want to self-exclude from roulette, Make sure you select roulette in the self-exclusion menu before you do that. I can't count the amount of times people have accidentally self-excluded from poker because last I checked, I think that is the default self-exclusion when you go to the self-exclusion menu. So make sure if you're trying to self-exclude from a particular game that you select that game specifically. Moving on to the next tip, guys. It's don't chase your losses. Now, I know this is really, really, really hard for some people, myself included. I'm still completely guilty of this. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's something you're going to want to keep in check if you're trying to build your bankroll. A good old fashioned way to do this is to set hard limits, whether it's a percent of your bankroll, a certain quantity of your bankroll that you want to bet in one sitting or one day at a time, hold yourself to it. For instance, if you have 100000 in your bankroll, maybe only bet 20000 at a time. If you lose that 20000 take your headset off, get off your computer, come back later. It's important to remember that in our human brains, we have this built-in urge to chase our losses. So you're literally going to have to fight against your own human instinct to avoid making this mistake. And like I said, I've been playing this game for like over three years now, and I still find myself at times chasing my losses. We're all guilty of it sometimes, but the people who are going to be able to build their bankroll over time learn to control it. Tip number three, guys, is spin the wheel. Now, I'm going to go another call back here to the Salty Alt. Part of the Salty Alt system includes going on one account, spinning the wheel two to three times a day, and then getting right off. If you do the math, I'm not going to post the numbers this time, but if you just even got the minimum amount on the wheel every single time, those spins can definitely add up. So you're going to want to keep spinning that wheel as often as you can. 
Even the richest players in Vegas Infinite spin this wheel as much as they can because at the end of the day, free chips are free chips. And if you missed it in the beginning, guys, check out the official stream, which is twitch.tv forward slash get lucky VR, constantly giving away free chips, a bunch of other free stuff. So if you like free stuff, don't forget that. Going back to the wheel, guys, again, so many people scoff at this. They'll shake their head. They'll say it's just a few thousand chips. But again, if you're spinning two to three times a day, it really adds up. My next tip for building your bankroll is going to be to learn more about sports betting. I know a lot of you watching this are probably like, ew, sports are gross. I don't like sports. And some of you probably love sports. Some of you may even bet real money in real life on sports games. And if you do, I definitely encourage you to check this out because next to poker, this is the second most consistent way to build chips in Vegas Infinite. Now, if you're one of those people I mentioned earlier who does not like sports, trust me when I say it's okay. All you gotta do is do a little homework. Uh, if you go on YouTube, there is thousands of channels where people make sports predictions. At very least, watching those videos will give you a better idea on the teams, to learn some of the players, get a better idea for the odds, increasing your overall success rate with Vegas Infinite Sports Betting. Again, I know a lot of you guys will probably just skip over this one because you want nothing to do with sports, but at the end of the day, like I said, sports betting is the second most consistent way to build chips in Vegas Infinite. And finally, guys, the last tip, a lot of you guys are going to say this is a no-brainer, but if it hasn't sunk in already, let it sink in now. Play more poker. There's tons of things to do in Vegas Infinite, including slots, roulette, craps, blackjack, and maybe even more coming down the line. But what you're going to want to do is get good at poker because, guys, this is going to be you versus other players. This is not you versus the house. This isn't you just putting your chips on the line for an outcome of a sports event. This is you versus other players in the game. This gives you the most control and the best odds of building up that bankroll. Now, poker is a very easy game to learn. If you don't know how to play poker or you think you can't do it, I assure you, you can learn poker. It's not that hard but it is something that takes years to master. So now is the time to put in experience, even if you just hop in some basic 10K spin and goes, the 5K cash games, start low and kind of work your way up. And in no time, you'll be an expert poker player and you'll be having a big old bankroll. If you made this far into the video, thank you so much, guys. One last thing I wanna say is don't be afraid to buy chips. This game is free to play and buying chips combo packs, high roller packs, all support the game. And to be quite honest, it's always going to be the fastest way to get chips into your bankroll. Now, I know a lot of you folks don't have extra money laying around. That's fine. I suggest to you that you watch this video a few times so it soaks all in. But for those of you who might have a little extra money in your budget, wait for the 2x sale. Go ahead and buy that ultra high roller pack and you'll be set for life. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you found this helpful, don't forget to drop a like. If you like Vegas Infinite, check out my channel. I got tons of Vegas Infinite content. And until next time, guys, I'll see you at the table.